Hello YouTube, this is Campbellist66. I am bringing to you another update to my Dark Elf army. This time, the model I completed was the Dark Elf Cauldron of Blood. Um, it was really... Uh, here in the US, it retails for $70 right around there, I think. Um, but you do get quite a bit with this kit. Um, this is the first time, to my knowledge, that you can actually get a model of Kron Helebron. And I chose to mount her on the base. And of course I did her with my Dark Elf army colors that I'm using this time. The purplish skin. And there she is. And the other figure, which is not completed yet, is the the Medusa type um, character model. I can't remember her name. But uh, right now, all I've done is base coat her, and I base coated the flesh areas with uh, Talarn flesh, that old base color from Games Workshop that is no longer in production. And here is the cauldron. Let me see if I can get you guys a better. Turn it around. Now this thing. Wow, this thing had me pulling my hairs out. Um, Games Workshop models are usually pretty simple. Sometimes you don't even need the instruction booklet. But this one had a couple of times where I was just left puzzled as to what goes where. Through trial and error, I got it. And this is a neat first for me. I'm using that Games Workshop. Uh, which one was it? Nope, it wasn't this one. It's I got three of them. This one, Armageddon Dust. It's like a sand grainy sand mixed into some thick paint and that's what you use uh, for your basing all I did was put it on there pretty liberally give it a wash of uh, Agrax Earthshade then dry brushed it a little bit and added some static grass and I think it looks the part it's not the best basing job but it, it'll do and there we go there's the statue of Cain and the death hag, I love the way they call them hags, and the two priestesses. Uh, these are very girly models, very girly, and they really got the female form right on these models. Um, I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with Games Workshop old Dark Elves, but they had huge heads, huge faces, were terribly misproportioned, uh, especially the old witch elves. And um, these new ones are just masterpieces. They're just awesome. And I loved building and painting this kit. It was a joy from start to finish. I'm not 100% sure that I'm done with it. I may give it some small details here and there. Um, like for instance, I'm just now noticing I did not highlight the gold here. This is just plain Balthazar gold. And uh, I had been experimenting with other golds. Um, I tried this stuff from Vallejo, that liquid gold. Uh, I would advise if you're not very paint fluent skip it don't get it it's very very difficult to keep from getting very grainy and thick you pretty much have to add alcohol to it every time you dip your brush in it and uh, just not worth it in my opinion and uh, the games workshop both is our gold and the two highlights work very well for me and I don't know if the light is picking it up but 
that was done with Games Workshop Metallics. And this right here was done with the, the gold areas on there. It was done with a different method of... Um, I, I will not be using again. I'm just going to stick with the Games Workshop Metallics. Uh, that is mixing... Mixing a shining gold, which is of course is no longer in production, with some brown, and then mixing shining gold with brown and yellow ink, and then highlighting with shining gold. It's too thick. Um, for a first try, I should have picked a model I cared less about because this model I really enjoyed, and this is going to be probably the centerpiece of my dark elf army. So there we go, YouTube. If you have any comments, any anything you'd like to comment on, ask about, did I miss something you guys noticed? Hey, dude, you forgot to paint this, or dude, look at that, you left a glue spot there, or so, you know, or hey, dude, you did pretty good, you did all right. I mean, I appreciate any and all comments. And uh, I'm going to do a short video on her. I was contemplating doing a tutorial on her, but since I'm, yeah, look at the rump they gave her on her. That girl got some back, snake woman or not, you know. <laughs> yeah, anyway, um, since I've been transitioning to doing stuff with my airbrush more and more, I think it'll be a little difficult for me to do a tutorial on her, but I may change my mind and do it anyway. Um, after this, I've got Dark Elf Warriors, Dark Elf Corsairs, um the knights that are on the cold ones I've got some other new chariots and oh of course up here in my let's see here we go the witch elves I bought a box of witch elves and I think they're gonna be next possibly and there we have it YouTube that's all I have for now thanks subscribe if you like if you want to if you like the video at all I'd appreciate it if you hit the like button. Thanks for watching. You guys have been epic. Thank you.